Hi, my name is Paddy Afterlick. I've been playing the banjo for three years and today I'm going to take you through a few tutorial videos to show you a few basic things on the banjo. Uh, I want to give you a few tips about what to look out for when you're buying a banjo for yourself. Um, obviously, as with any instrument or anything you can buy, you will get better products for a higher price. However, there are some very good, very good products available for a low price. For example, like this Ashbury banjo. Um, which I bought for about £250, which is a very good instrument. And uh, if you're starting out, it might be the perfect solution for you. What you need to consider when buying a banjo is um, in what situation you're going to be playing it. Are you going to be playing at home mainly? Are you going to be playing with a band? Um, will you need a resonator on the back, which this one hasn't? For example, this is an open back banjo. Um, will you have to have it mic'd up if you're playing in a in a loud band, for example. These are all things you need to consider when buying the banjo. This is a Fender banjo, which is going to be slightly louder and project the sound of the banjo forward because it has a resonator on the back. As you can hear, this is slightly louder. And also this one has a slightly longer neck, which might, if you have small fingers, not be suitable for you. Um, have a look on the internet, look for maybe reviews and quotes, and, but mainly go to a shop and try out as many banjos as you can to find out what banjo suits you.